Hey everyone, welcome to week 10 of your postpartum recovery. This is your 20 minute workout. And as usual, we're just gonna loosen things up in standing with a bit of a warm up. So take those feet nice and wide, hands on your thighs or on the floor. And we're going to go into a lunge, side lunge, side lunge, center, and a bit of a knee bend and a straighten. Lunge, lunge, knee bend and straighten just releasing out those inner thighs and also adding a bit of a hamstring stretch as we straighten those knees. Side to side and then down and up. Just going smoothly from side to side. And last one, down. Up, bring those feet back in. We've got an inchworm next. So we're walking down into a plank and then back. So rolling down, walk out into that plank. Make sure that the belly isn't poking out here. And then we walk back. If a full plank is a bit too much for you at, the, at this point in time, walk out just to a four point kneeling position and then roll back up. So you have two options here. As you come into that plank position, squeeze the glutes so we get that body in a nice straight line. Just three more. Two. And one. And up. Okay, now standing in front of the mat, or rather at the front end, you're going to lunge behind you, arms overhead, and switch from side to side. So we're opening out those hip flexors here, so you should feel a bit of a stretch on the front thigh area. Reach and back. Just four more. Three, two, and one. And turn to face the front, back into those lunges, just a few more reps of each exercise. side and side, down and up. Now, with everything being a little weak after delivery, often we get muscles tightening up to help compensate for the reduced stability. So starting off with a bit of a warm up or including a few releases is key to recovery. Last one. And walk those feet in to the back of the mat into that inch room. Down and out. In that plank, keep the ribs flat. Out and up. Two more. One more. And up, walk to the front of your mat. Slight tuck under of the pelvis as we step back, arms overhead and alternate. Just mobilizing things here and we'll get into the harder work a bit later. Four to go. Three, two, and one. Back to center, take a few breaths. We're going to move down to the legs. 
So here you've got one heel lifted. You're going to squat down, tap it out, come back up. Down, tap, up. And we keep to that one side as we hold that squat, tapping the other foot out. Weight is on the heel of the foot as the opposite one taps out. And as you come up, give the glute a big squeeze. Ooh, squat down first, then tap out. Three more. Two. One. Other side, heel lifted, squat down, tap. Breathe. If you want to add in a little bit of an explosive element, you can come up quickly and shoot back down. We're not adding jumping to our workouts just yet, but if you do that pretty quickly, it's gonna kind of simulate jumping at a lower level. Four, three, two, and one. We now move into our plie series. So we start with our feet turned out. You're going to open the feet down into a second, Center first, other side, and back. So we're just alternating from side to side as we keep turning those legs out, trying to make sure the knees aren't falling inwards, but we're really trying to keep those knees open as we keep squeezing those glutes. Out and in. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, back to center. Now we're going to work on the calves. So we've got a heel raise, toes out, heel raise. So similar to what we just did with the plies, we're doing something in parallel in one position and then switching to that turnout, switching positions. Keep the ribs flat, focus on one point in front of you to help with that balance as you keep switching. And breathe. So I personally am working up little bit of a sweat here. It's a journey getting back to where you were pre-pregnancy. Three, two, and one. Shake out the legs just a little bit and we're going to go back into that squat with the heel lifted and the foot tap. Squat up. Relax the shoulders, keep the chest open. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch, down and out. Keep it up. Not a lot of weight on that foot as it taps out. Four, three, two 
and one. Into that plie series, start in that first position, in the middle, step out, and then back to center. Out, center. Tap the glutes, make sure that those are squeezing hard to keep that turnout. And switch. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Into heel raises. Parallel first, toes out, and we do it in turn out. If you want to, you can do this with weights or maybe with your baby in a sling to add a little bit more resistance. Relax the shoulders. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Ooh, and shake out those legs a bit. Kick those heels up to that buttocks to release the quads. We're going to move down to the mat now. So we walk forward in an inchworm, in an inchworm move, kind of like we did before. And then bring those knees down into an all fours position. Make sure your spine is in neutral, abdominals are braced, and then lower your elbows down onto the mat. Keep pushing out of those shoulders throughout all of these movements. We're going to start with a kick. So one leg comes in, and then we kick it out. Knee in and out. And as the knee kicks out, we want that power to come from the glutes. That's what is lifting the leg, but we don't want the lower back to arch with that lift. We want everything to remain stable in that torso as we kick up. Four, three, two, one. We're now going to bring that leg up to the ceiling, knee bent, and just pulse. So you're driving that heel up to the ceiling as you keep squeezing the glutes. If you need to take a break for a couple of seconds between reps, do so. Recenter yourself and keep going. But we've got 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. You can just sit back into child's pose for a quick release. Breathe. And then bring those elbows back out to do the other side. Push out of those shoulders. Flatten the ribs. We start with that knee in, kick out movement. In and out. Try not to let that top hip turn out. We want to keep both hips facing the mat here. Really using that glute to lift that leg. In. Breathe. Four. Three. Two. One. Knee up, keep it bent. Drive that heel up to the ceiling as you pulse that leg up and down. 
take a moment to make sure that those abdominals are still engaged and tight. Pulse, pulse, pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sit back into child's pose. Breathe. In and out. Okay, we're going back into that position, and this time we're doing a straight legged rainbow. So down on those elbows once again, but now you're going to take one leg straight out behind you, cross it over its partner, and the movement is an up and down in an arch. So making a rainbow with that toe. As the foot goes out to the side, you should feel the abs on the opposite side of your body really work to stabilize you here. Over and back. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch. Remember to push out of those shoulders. Cross that leg over and arch. Up and over. Still using that glute to lift that leg up to the ceiling. Watch that low back if you feel that it's arching. Make the movement smaller and more controlled. Five, four, three, two, and one, and back to center. Just roll those shoulders out a bit, dab away any sweat, and you're going to move down onto your side into a side plank position. Elbow down, once again, push out of the shoulder, knees together, bring the hips up as you push the hips forwards, flatten the ribs. Your top leg is coming out to the side and we've got three taps, back, middle, front, middle, back, middle, front, middle. And we just keep doing that, trying not to let our hips wobble as the foot goes through its movements. Keep that abdominal area nice and flat and held. Three, two, one. Knees together, and then we've just got five twists with elbow to floor. Two, three, four, and five. Hips down. That is it for the side work. Just a little bit of activation, not too much of a burn for today. And we do the other side. Push out of the shoulder, hips up and forward, top leg, front, middle, back, middle. Keep switching. Try not to let the hips sink towards the mat, but push out of that bottom hip and try to keep pushing out of that hip as the leg goes. Four, three, two, and one. Knees together, just five twists, elbow to floor. Five, 
four, three, two, one, and relax. That is it for the workout for today. Feel free to go through some stretches once you're finished here, or even try out one of our other videos if you've still got some energy and you're ready to go for another one. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you soon on our next video.